It has arrived, the big one. It is time for the Super Bowl, and we welcome you to the presentation of the big game on EA Sports. the Super Bowl and we welcome you to the biggest production of the year alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon and all the hype all the lights all the camera all the action now these guys have to focus in and kind of block that out don't they and just think about what they've had to do just to get to today all right all the media appearances sponsorship and advertisements fending off family that wants tickets all of those that, oh yeah, you got to mix in a little practice and game plan as well. Finally getting here to the host city, and now that day is finally here. They can go play. All right, Charles and I are ready in the booth. If you're not ready, get ready. Here we go, underway on EA Sports. And he gets just across the 25, tackled down around the 26. And here he comes, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan, coming out to lead the offense. Two tight end set this time. And it's caught. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. The starting lineups, as they always are, have been brought to you by Head & Shoulders, America's number one dandruff shampoo. Tries over the middle, and he brings it in for the catch. Hightower will be credited with the tackle. So here we go, first and 10 now. And it's first down, but they're going to try to sling it again. And it's complete. And now they get into enemy territory across the 50. Always good to move the chain. So a nice job by the quarterback to find his man open for a first down. And on first down. And the give over to the right side. And on the tackle, it's Dante Hightower. Really nice setup by the runner. Actually got the defender off balance, and then he fires out a stiff arm to allow him to pick up additional yardage. Second down, four. And a nice grab there for the reception. Taken down just shy of the first down marker. It seems like whenever people talk about Chris Long, the number one thing they discuss is his motor and how relentless he is. Let's not forget, he's also a superior athlete. And three full yards here for the offense to get on third down. Back to the air they go. This time over the middle. And it's thrown incomplete. But I don't know how much of that falls on the quarterback. He was pressured. Brandon, the rush showed up so fast, the quarterback had no chance to get the ball downfield.
And the kicker converts to give three points to his team. Yeah, you can never complain about getting the lead, but there's plenty of time left here. So I'm sure they still would have rather had a touchdown than just a field goal. In the kickoff team, they all appear set. And the run back is halted right around the 28 this time. And back in 2000, here's a guy who was a six-round pick and now a future Hall of Famer. It's Tom Brady. And on first down. On the ground, it's Blunt. Right side run, and he's hit right away. Let's discuss this offense now, and Julian Edelman, very good player. Has really developed into a terrific slot receiver, and a lot of times he would be the primary receiver. Still mad coming out of college that he's not a quarterback in the NFL. He takes it out on the opposing defenses. Second and eight. On the ground, it's Blunt. Eight-yard gain on that play. That's a good job there to move the chains. The more first downs you pick up, better shape you'll be in as an offense. And on first and ten now. And back to the ground they go on first down. Has enough for the first. So one quarter in the books, three still to go in this Super Bowl matchup. We'll take a timeout and be back. Back now, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and this crowd hasn't had a whole lot of offense to cheer for today. These two defenses have really showed up. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. It's a handoff this time. And that was just his first carry of the ball game. Second and two from the shotgun. And it is caught. And the tackle by the end, Beasley. And he was able to find a very soft spot in that zone coverage. I love that term, Brandon. That soft spot where you find the open area, set up and catch the football before the hard collision comes afterwards. So everybody split out wide, the QB by himself. The snap from the gun. So a nice chunk of yardage there before he's taken down to the ground. That was not a completion that results in a highlight video. But at the same time, if you have those kind of completions all game long, eventually one of them might turn into a highlight. Now it's second and seven. On the ground, it's Blunt. And he'll try to find an opening on the right side of the defense. Not much daylight there. Whatever was there snuffed out quickly. 
Big time points to the defense. They just swarmed, made the tackle. They get to go back to the huddle feeling awfully good about themselves. And we've arrived at the two minute warning here in half number one. Three yards left to grab here on third down. Shotgun formation. Nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Down three points, but the kicker can change that right here if he can convert. And the field goal is good. Nice kick there to tie it up, but we've got plenty of twists and turns left to go in this game. And we are teed up and ready to go. And there's a flag on the play. And he's brought down right around the 23. That's where the return ends. Holding, receiving team. First down. And the offense lining up first and ten. Snap comes back out of the shotgun formation. And that one almost taken away by the defense, but it falls innocently to the ground. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. From the gun. And he hauls it in. A tackle there, but not before the first down is gained. So first and 10. And nobody left to beat. He's in the clear. And a good chunk of yardage is gained on the play. And a timeout on the field. This time it's the offense calling it. I don't know what you thought, partner, but I thought he was gone after that catch. I thought he was taking that one to the house. How about the defense, though? Never gave up on the play and eventually ran him down. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll operate from the gun. He had it, but could not hold on. A little bit of relief there for the defense. They thought a catch was about to result. Instead, it's a play for them. Second and 10. Shotgun formation. Middle of the field throw, and it's complete. 
The stop by Patrick Chung. And a timeout is taken here by the offense. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Getting set on first down. They'll operate from the gun. And the pass came up short. And on that one, he was just really under fire. You often have enough time to look downfield and find receivers. In this case, the quarterback had no time to look downfield and find anyone open. Second down and 10. The snap from the gun. The pass is intercepted by Chung. Defense with the wrap up. Nice interception by the defense on a poor pass. Now the offense has to shake that off and come back ready to go in their next series. And on first down. On the ground, it's Blunt. And a good chunk of yardage there. And the offensive side, they're going to stop the game with a timeout. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Brandon, that's a body blow type of a run, the type of run that if you keep getting them and accumulating them throughout the game, that'll really wear a defense down as we get to the fourth quarter. Second down, just one yard to go. Shotgun snap. Throws it over the middle, and he's able to haul it in. So the tackle is made, but he's beyond the first down marker. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. And the receiver, Charles, he just made the play coming across the field. Sometimes it's the shorter routes to the ones that are most effective right into the quarterback's sight line. And on first down. Little motion now from the tight end. He catches the snap out of the gun. And he unloads this deep. And he hauls it in. Touchdown, Patriots. Brandon, the 
they just got the ball, and already they're in the end zone, and you're getting ready to talk about the PAT. That was fast. Kicking unit on to add the PAT. The PAT is up, and the PAT is good. Everyone getting lined up, and it looks like we are just about set to rock. And picks up some nice yardage. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Ryan trying the deep ball here. And that ball probably should have been picked off, but instead incomplete. So two quarters down and two to go in the biggest game of them all, the Super Bowl. The second half coming up after the break. And everyone is lined up for the kickoff. Time for the third quarter. We'll see what halftime adjustments have been made as the kickoff comes here. Penalty marker is down here. The stop will go to Trufant. And an extra tight end on the field now. Handoff, running up the middle, and is able to get the first down. And a nice run there to pick up the first down. Good understanding by the runner of knowing where the first down line was and getting there. And on first down. On the ground, it's Blunt. Gets some yards, not a whole lot there. That's a fine job by the defense, limiting the offense and putting them in a tougher situation. Seven yards to go on second down. And the big tight end shifting around. Trying to complete it on the sideline. He'll have 19 yards on the play. Quarterback and receiver on the same page, and they beat the man coverage. Sometimes you get too aggressive as a defense. You go into man coverage. That means you've got to win to the line of scrimmage yourself. On that play, the offense did. And the coach has decided to throw the red flag. He will challenge this play. 
So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. challenged the play it did not pay off and that means he lost a timeout in that challenge and as a coach you hate that don't know if you took the advice of the player you threw it yourself but it didn't go your way at the end of the day it all comes back to the head coach he has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not in this case it didn't pay off for him and that's got to be so heartbreaking you throw that flag you probably feel really confident and then all of a sudden boom you lose the challenge yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Getting set on first down. On the ground, it's Blunt. Left side run. And across midfield they go as the offense now works in enemy territory. The defense did a good job containing the run there and holding them to a short gain. Second down and eight. Right 20. Right 20. They set up the play fake. And he's able to haul it in. And a huge chunk of yardage. The best quarterbacks work hard on every aspect of their game. How about the sell job by the quarterback there? Faking everyone out with a strong play action move. And now a first down following that long game. On the ground, it's Blunt running it up the gut. And he's wrestled down right around the 16. These are not the runs that you worry about early in the game. These are runs that you're establishing now for later in the game, trying to wear a defense down and create holes that you'll exploit later. Second and a short one. Toss to the outside. And he's hit for a loss. Third and two. And the give to the right side. And it's a New England Patriots touchdown. And that score gives them a little more separation in a bigger lead. A little more of a comfort zone now. They can do more things defensively, maybe take a few more gambles as they try to continue to extend their lead. So here comes the extra point attempt. And they cap the touchdown with the extra point. And the kicker is set. We're just about ready. And the tackle made. They get to the 24 there on the return. And they'll go with a two tight end look. 
And here now is Freeman. Hightower will be credited with the tackle. No matter how you view this call, you have to call him gutsy because everyone's saying pass the ball in this situation, but they had the courage to decide to run it in a tough situation. So that does it for the third quarter, the fourth and final quarter of the Super Bowl after this timeout. Time to begin the final stanza here, the fourth quarter, as we welcome you back. I'm Brandon Gordon, and to my left, Charles Davis. Second down and six. Shotgun snap here. Ryan going long. Nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Third and six. Takes a snap out of the gun. Throws to his right. And he brings it in. And he is brought down to the ground. And that brings us to fourth down. For all you young defenders out there, when you're in zone defense, you have to know where your holes are and find a way to adjust when the offense tries to attack them. Two tight ends set this time. Trying to get the edge on the toss play. Tackle is made by Devin McCourty. This is old school football. Run it, keep possession, keep it moving, keep the clock going. I love this kind of game. And the defense comes out of the dime. The tight end changing his position. Tries the left side. Passes short. Left it short. It's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Second and 10 from the shotgun. And he's able to bring it in. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after that play. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. So a nickel formation here for the defense. The snap from the gun. Tries it over the middle. And with that, we have arrived at the two-minute warning. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Ten yards still left on second down. Shotgun formation. Fires into the teeth of the D. Chung in on the tackle. And now they're in the hurry up. And the connection not made. Incomplete pass.
So second and 10 here. Snap comes back out of the shotgun formation. Tries the deep ball. Now the Atlanta Falcons are in for the touchdown. Great play there. The quarterback not only trusted his arm, he trusted his receiver and threw it into traffic and allowed him to make a tremendous catch. And now the kicking team on to try and tack on one more. And the extra point kick is good. So they line up for the onside kick and the hands team, of course, out there as well. And able to pick up some good yardage. First and 10. formation and the tackle by the end Beasley in this timeout to conserve time here that's why they take the T.O. and now following that timeout the defense back out onto the field textbook defense nowhere to go for the runner they get there they make the tackle play over Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. On the ground, it's Blunt. And down he goes there at the nine. And they're going to take a timeout here to stop the clock. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. This has to be a nice feeling for the offense. They have a lead, it's late in the game. All they want to do is take care of the football in this situation. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And the ball drops down to the turf. Hat tip to the defense there. They were draped all over him. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So second and goal here from the nine. So a nice play. Now let's see how the offense follows it up. Okay. 
Should be an easy short look for the kicker. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.